72 hours since you spoke to Jay. Well, it's actually even been longer than 72 hours now. It was 72 hours at half eight this morning. And obviously that, that's a long time to be going without food, without water. And I just think with the amount of time that's gone by, I feel like a little bit more could have been done on the authorities part over here. Um, but yeah, it's been awful. I've, I've, honestly, I've never been so worried in my life. Like. I, I, it's just the unknown as well like you literally just you don't know what's happened you don't know where he's gone like his last drop pin wasn't even on a road like there's a reason he's gone off road I think like why why is he not carried on the path he's not a stupid boy do you know what I mean like he would have stayed on the road like this it was at 8am as well so well just after 8am so that's like the perfect time it's not cold at night there's it's not midday heat so there's hikers there's tourists there's photographers like there's like people around he's not stupid he would know to stay on the road and then he'd walk past someone and say look um sorry i'm lost um like i understand there's like the language barrier with some people but someone would have been able to speak english he would have been able to communicate efficiently to let them know that he had no phone he had no water and he, and he was stuck up here like why has why he gone off the road like I, there's unanswered questions and i feel like they're not i feel like they are they are doing some things but i feel like they could try on the phone and he goes, I'm not walking down all around that road and he's gone over a little bit, like a little, not a big drop, just a little, tiny little drop and he's going down there. He goes, I'll ring you back, I'll ring you back because I think someone else was ringing him. And he probably, if you're thinking like me, he would have went back up and started walking on the path again. He wouldn't have gone all that way down there. So you said that you could see his feet and he was actually sort of sliding down the hill, like you could hear the ropes? Yeah, he was, that's how I knew he, were, he went off the road, because you could hear like, if, when, you, when you walk on gravel or whatever it is, you can, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, it's storms. Were you concerned at that point? And not at the time, no, because we were both like laughing about it, think, he said, look where I am, we were just met, I didn't seem concerned on the phone, until we knew how far away we were. Yeah. I said, put your location on. He said, and I would, and that 50 minute drive or a 14 hour walk, I don't know if it's accurate or not. Yeah. So I said to him, well, it's only a 50 minute drive, get a taxi. This new info just leads me to further believe that Jay Slater is dead. But what do you think happened? And importantly, do you think Jay will be found alive? Lucy's. She had to be there present when that apartment was searched. Her, Lucy, and the landlord as well, whilst the police and whichever other authority it was that was there to search that apartment. And again, because the information that I was told was that they believed that he was there hiding. And as it stands out, it, it clearly wasn't. We've been reported seeing him quite a few different places. And Even what now, past, it, past what during the searching, he's been and seen. Again, I only spoke to my cousin not yesterday, the day before, obviously, and he said again, it's all talk amongst workers that he's been spotted in quite a few different places. And, uh, and we, yeah, you would that say... must have hold some truth to it because the news reports today are all talking how he's very positive as if he is still around and he's still alive they've not gone into any detail of what's six summers myself out in Tenerife in Playa I lived in Los Cristianos and Playa and that's where the majority of all workers live as well but have you noticed that in anywhere in any statements all over the media not a single worker has been interviewed no. And there's a reason for that, because Obviously. all workers have been told that anyone who talks to any press, anyone who talks to anyone asking questions, they'll lose their job, they'll lose their accommodation there and then. So they've all been made well aware. And, yeah, and also as well, I understand that the majority of workers out there are 18 years old, up to probably the age of around about 30, living their best life, working six days a week. They're about yeah. to go into peak season out there. But workers do know a lot of information. They stick together. And again, I can talk to that, like I can say from that, from experience on the so this is the power and positivity of social media. So I made a video earlier on today about, somebody had sent me something about this Jay Slater song that was out that was released on the 15th of June, and it was called Missing in Tenerife, and um, it's on Spotify and Amazon and YouTube. Now, what's really happened is someone's gone in and actually just changed the name of a song that already existed. Um, 
somebody's reached out to me this morning check this out hello I've seen your videos and the one about the song on spotify has now been reported i'm currently in the chat with them to sort it out thank you for sharing it so people can report in the background they've understood the concern of it someone uploaded something beforehand and changed the details to link to jay and his disappearance after he went missing as this can be done do you have an inch so i can follow you you do amazing blah, blah 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 anyway so this person has reached out to spotify and i've just actually had a message from someone saying it's been removed from youtube as well so yes there's a lot of bullshit that goes on especially around these kind of you know things and on, on apps but that's one good thing isn't it because nobody should be able to do something like that you know it's, it's disgusting uh, and hopefully amazon will take it down as well or at least change the song name back to whatever the original was um but yeah keep doing good work and try and keep the rumors down to a you know a minimum because there's so many silly theories out there keep doing it